What is up? What is up? What is up, Kingdom Builders? We are in the building with an ultra fresh word, hot off the dog on press. And let me tell you, I'm going to get this word in real quick um, because the Lord has something especially for you. Uh, the Lord is saying to prepare for the rain, okay? Prepare for the rain. The Lord gave me this word the other day in such an unusual way, y'all. Um, he was saying, it's time to get ourselves prepared. But the way the Lord confirmed this message to me, and as y'all come in, go ahead and thumbs up the video and tell me who's in with me. But I have a meeting in like 20 minutes, so I got to go ahead and get it in and get it out. But the Lord told me the other day, y'all, it was so good, uh, because I was looking for a mechanic to work on my car, right? I'm looking for a mechanic on Facebook Live or whatever to come over and work on my car. And so there are several people who come over and they say they have, they can provide the service for me or whatnot. So I filtered through all the different people and I realized that amongst all of these people, hey, Miss Sharon, hey, Rhonda, amongst all of the people, one thing that they all had in common is that they didn't have their stuff together. Nobody had um, a website. Nobody had uh, reviews or anything on their website. Nobody was able to verify that they were who they said they were. And so I'm filtering through all of these different people. And um, I'm like, okay, well, wait a minute. Y'all want money up front to come out and fix my car, which I understand. You know, you want you have to pay your gas and whatever else. But because you don't have your systems in place and because I can't verify you are who you say you are, why should I risk being scammed for you? And it was at that very moment, the Lord said, it's time for you to prepare for the incoming rain, okay? Because many of us are experiencing what we feel like is delay. And it's not delay, it's just God waiting for you to build your ark so that when the rain comes, the people come, the overflow come, the blessing will not overtake you. The Lord has said the blessing. He don't want the blessing to overtake you. And many of us, we haven't prepared for nothing. Let me tell you, what one young man told me. Let me tell y'all, it was so funny. So I'm like, so sir, how am I going to um, be able to tell you, you know, how can I know whether or not your business is legitimate? Can you, you know, show me, prove to me basically some way you are who you say you are when you're asking me for my money up front. And I said, cause how do I know you're not a scammer? This man replies to me, I'm a mechanic, not a catfish. I'm a mechanic and not a catfish. And that really just resonated with me. Like how often in the body do we want God to do something for us? We want God to come and provide for us. We want God to send business to our businesses. We want God to open doors for us. But look at how we present ourselves to the world. If God brought the thing that you've been praying for along in your path right now, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Ask yourself, are you ready for the breakthrough? God wants to bring in your life. Are you ready for the rain? Do you know how to handle your finances? How do you present yourself before the world? Do you come half cocked or are you coming with yourself ready, already ready and in preparation and expectation for what God is bringing into your life? God is saying it's time for you to get ready. It is time for you to get ready. My sister reminded me of a word the other day. Um, well, she reminded me of a word a while ago, y'all. And it was this woman who uh, had this fantastic business idea. Apparently, Tyler Perry was um, at this venue where she was at. He believed in the idea, asked the woman for her business card, business ideas, and whatever else. She didn't have nothing ready. Nothing. And because of that, that opportunity passed her by. And the Lord is saying, don't let this opportunity pass you by. Somebody say, God, don't pass me by. Lord, don't pass me by. But it's time for you to start building your ark. If you're expecting God to move in your life, why are you sitting around doing nothing and not preparing for his hand to fall over your endeavors? Like, make it make sense. Does it make sense to you? No, it's like a, a kid who does not know how to drive a car yet. And you saying, well, my mama and daddy gonna give me a car for my 18th birthday and I'm taking it for a joyride when I get it. But he don't even know how to drive. You would expect for that kid, if he's expecting you to buy him a car, that he goes out and gets his permit, his license or whatever else. So when the car comes, he can hop in his car and ride. 
But many of us waiting for the brand new car, okay? We waiting for the brand new house. We waiting for the husband. We waiting for all of these things and haven't done nothing to prepare ourselves to receive what God has for us. And he's waiting to bring the rain in your life. Some of what you all have called delay is simply God withholding the rain so that blessing does not overtake you. Listen, when God gave me this word, I was like, man, that is so good. How are we showing up for ourselves? How are you showing up for yourself? Are you ready for the influx? Are you ready for the business? Are you ready for the family? Are you ready for the home? Are you ready for the finances? Are you ready for the education? Are you ready for the system? Are you ready for the promise? God is saying, are you ready for the promise? Because if you were, you would be applying yourself and building your ark. Listen, when God gave me this word, let me tell you the word he gave me. Um, he said, the Lord took me to uh, Isaiah 54 and 2. And he said, enlarge the site of your tent to make room for more children. Stretch out the curtains of your dwelling and do not spare them. Lengthen your tent ropes and make your pegs or your stakes firm in the ground. The Lord is saying, make room for me. Make room for my kingdom. Make room for more children. Make room because everything that you're doing, I'm calling you to do is for the kingdom of God. But I need you to prepare. He said, drive your pegs in deep or your stakes firm in the ground. What is your faith grounded on? What are you rooted on right now? Do you have faith in God? Because your ground is the firm foundation, which is the rock of God. But if you trust him, if you believe him, if you're rooted and grounded in his word, then you can step out and do what God called you to do. You can prepare where God called you to prepare and you can have or possess what God said is yours. But we sit back twiddling our thumbs any day now, Lord. I'm so, I'm so waiting for my promise, God. <laughs> Lord, I'm just waiting for my breakthrough. I'm just waiting, Father, whenever you're ready. And the, and, and the Lord is like, well, I have the rain right here. It's stored up in the cloud just for you. But when you build your ark so that this blessing does not overtake you, so the blessing don't overtake you. Listen, um, when the Lord gave me this word, y'all, I had never read that word in the Amplified Version. But it really struck me because I'm like, you know, God is really trying to make a major impact in his kingdom through his children. But we have resisted and failed to prepare ourselves for what God has for us. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians that I have spiritual blessings stored up for you in heavenly places. That means that's already there for you. It already have your name on it. The, the word says it is stored that means that there is a lot that is packed in a storehouse just for you. But why haven't we received it yet? Why haven't we received it yet? And a lot of times we're not, we're not willing to work for it. And the Lord is saying, I love you too much to uh, give you something that's going to cause you to crash or derail, deviate off of the course that I have set out for you. I love you too much, even though you want the brand new car to give it to you when you haven't got your license. I love you too much to give you the ministry knowing that you haven't prepared yourself and allowed yourself to heal from all the wounds that you want to go and minister to other people through. I love you too much and I love my children too much to go ahead and send you the husband, okay, when you haven't allowed yourself to heal from the hurt, the wound, and the pain. Why would I put him through that and give him to you and it's going to end in divorce? And I, the Lord your God, hate divorce. I love you too much for it. So why haven't you started preparing? Why haven't you started preparing for what you said you want? Many of you know God gave you a promise. You know what the promise is. You have clear vision, but you have not started putting one foot in front of the other and walking towards doing anything for it. Well, when the Lord tell me to step out, I've been waiting. Well, how long have you been waiting? It's been a couple of years now. I'm just waiting on the Lord. I'm just waiting on the Lord. No. You're not waiting on God. God is waiting on you. The excuse that you're using because you're afraid and because you don't know what you're doing, because you're intimidated, is you're using that you're waiting on God. 
But if you be honest with yourself, you're scared, you're afraid, and God hasn't given you the full picture. And so therefore, you sit back twiddling your thumbs, waiting for God. And he says, you're going to stand there in that same place, and your spiritual blessings will remain stored up in heaven where you never receive them if you never prepare yourself and walk out on faith. Listen, it's time for you to start looking like where you believe God is taking you. It's time to start building your ark for when the rain comes. It's time for you to start applying your faith. Put your faith to work. Faith is an action. It is an action. The Bible says, apart from without faith, it's impossible to please God. But if you believe God, you'll start doing what he's called you to do. Listen, when God gave me this word, I was just like, man, my God, that is so, so, so good. How about all this time you've been waiting for God to release your blessing and he's waiting for you to build the ark. You're waiting for God to give you what you've been praying for and he's waiting for you to be prepared to receive it. You're waiting for God to give you the message or the ministry, the business, and he's waiting for you to start putting systems in place and heal and grow yourself so that you can receive it. Come on now, make it make sense. We're saying we're waiting for God. Most of us are claiming to be waiting for God just because we don't have a whole map in front of us. He didn't give us A to Z, so therefore I'm just going to sit back and wait. I'm just chilling. When God give me the full picture, well, I want you to know if you're waiting for God to give you the full picture, you're going to be waiting the rest of your life because it would not require faith for you to step out and follow God. Listen. I don't know who this word is for, okay? But I said, I just have a few minutes because I have a meeting. But this word was shut up in my bones like a fire and I had to get it out to y'all because I want you to know that God is prepared to do something mighty in your life. If you believe it, type that in the comments. God, you're prepared to, to do something mighty in my life, in my life. But you have to be prepared and get yourself in position to receive what God has for you. Prepare for the rain. Whatever area you're believing God for a move for, you have to be ready when it comes. You do, not nobody else, or you'll be waiting for the rest of your life. It's unfortunate that many people die with purpose in their belly. How do you know that you're pregnant with purpose? I'm going to tell you right now. What that thing feels like is having a vision, an idea, a book, a goal, a business, a ministry that you have been carrying around, carrying around, carrying around, carrying around for a, a long period of time. We know that the gestational period for a woman is nine months. At, by the eight month mark, the woman begins to get com uncomfortable. She's like, get this baby up out of me because it's too big. It's kicking all up in my ribs. I can't breathe. I can't lay on my stomach. I can't sleep at night. I can't do nothing. And I'm ready for the baby to get up out of me. And the same applies when you have a vision, when you have a goal, when you have a business, when you have a ministry idea that is just sitting up in your spiritual belly and the Lord is waiting for that thing to burst forth, but you can't bring it for because you haven't got in position so year after year month after month you're uncomfortable been pregnant walking around with this baby that should have been here and it's long overdue but how about god is waiting for you and you're waiting for him god is waiting for you and you're claiming to be waiting for him Get your ark in place. Get yourself in position to give birth. Allow yourself to heal from what's been hindering you. Allow the Lord to transform your mind so that when he speaks the thing that you can get in position, you can believe God and you can step out by faith even when you can't see it. Even when it seems impossible. Even when that thing is too big for you. Because I want you to know the only way God is going to speak a God vision to you is that it's impossible for you to see yourself doing it by yourself. If you could do it on your own, it wouldn't be God. If you could do it on your own, it wouldn't be God. And guess who would get the glory for that? You would, because you would be doing it all on your own. The Lord is saying it's time to build your ark. It is time for you to build your ark. Get in position 
if you need help along this journey, somebody to give you an extra push, because sometimes what you need is people to tell you, you know what, girl, right now, I see what's in you. I see you're pregnant with purpose, but you need a little bit of extra motivation. I see right now where you need a little bit of strength and courage. I see right now that you need to be built up in your most holy faith, but you don't have nobody to come along and build you up. Go ahead and join the catapult your destiny. We are going to walk alongside of you in a community together to help ensure that that thing that you're pregnant with, the thing that you're carrying, the thing that God has been calling you to birth forth, that it comes forth. But you're going to have to take action. You need other people to come along with you. A lot of y'all talking about you need family. You need relationship. You need like-minded believers, but you're just waiting for all of these people to come knock on your door, bust your door down and say, how you doing? And bend over backwards to spend time with you and assist you in birthing forth your vision. It doesn't work like that. God is saying, get in position and build your ark. Stop sitting back on your butt and stop making excuses. We have more excuses than we have hours in a day, most of us. The Lord is saying, you're not going to get there by excuses. You're not going to get there by being, but you're going to remain frustrated, okay? Remaining in the place of complacency. And that's just what it boils down to. Many of us are complacent and we're just like that man who wanted to fix my car, wanted to me to pay him to fix my car. But when I asked him for credentials, he told me that he is not, he's a, he's a mechanic, not a catfish. Sir, like, <laughs> how do I know that? And who replies like that? Right. And a lot of times this is how we're responding to God. Anyways, y'all. Anyways. I have a uh, meeting here in about two minutes. So I said I was not going to make it long. If this word has resonated with you and you are ready for God to catapult you into your destiny, you want an affordable means of coaching, go ahead and drop, um, um, join the Catapult Your Destiny group coaching program. A lot of y'all saying you can't afford it. It's like 40 something dollars per month. That's three um, trips to Taco Bell, Whataburger, or whatever else. That's a bundle of hair, a little, a couple of little pair of lashes, or maybe your nails done once a month. I mean, come on now. What it is, is priority. But you're talking about your tire of seeing yourself, not walking in what God has for you, or receiving your blessings. But where is the priority? It's time for you to go forth. But anyways, that's going to be left up to y'all. I got my little meeting. I love you all with the love of God. And until next time, y'all, until next time, y'all, be blessed. Click the link in the description tab. <laughs>